In this tutorial we're going to look at the move, rotate, and scale commands in Rhino. So let's go ahead and start by making a box. And there's a few ways to move, scale, and rotate this box. If you select the box you'll see the gumball. If you don't see the gumball you could select down here the gumball um, icon, turn it on and off, and then you have different options. So the moving corresponds to these three arrows here. The blue is the Z direction, the green is the Y, and the red is the X, so you can just drag on those arrows. Um, the scale are these handles out here, so if you want to scale in one direction you can drag on those handles, and then rotate are these three arcs here, so you can rotate around the Z axis, around the Y axis, around the X axis. Um, if you want to do it more, more precisely, you can actually type in commands. So in your command line, you can type in move. And as you type, you can see there's a lot of different ways to move. You can move faces or move just edges of the box. In this case, we're going to move the, use the general move um, command. And then it asks you if you want to move it vertically or not. If you do, so in the up and down direction, you can select that. Um, and that will turn vertical on, which means yes and then if I click in my scene you can see my box is moving now vertically. If I escape and I type in move again and I don't select vertical, if I then move it's going to move in the XY direction. Um, these are the same commands that you'd find under, under the transform menu, so if I select transform from the drop downs you can move, copy, rotate, scale all um, from that menu, but I think as you start using Rhino you'll most likely just use your command line. So that's the move. Um, there's also rotate, and there's a bunch of different ways to rotate. For now, just use the general rotate. And to rotate, it asks you for a center of rotation. So that's going to be the point around which it rotates. So if I select a point here, by the way, you can also type in an exact number or coordinate. So if I want to uh, rotate around the 0, 0, 0, or the center origin of the grid, I can type 0, 0, 0, enter. And you can see it now chooses that point on the grid. So that's a way to do it very precisely. You can then choose the next point and then the amount you want to rotate. And you can also type in always numbers. So I could do 90 for 90 degrees. Um, the other thing you can do is scale, and there's quite a few options for scale. There's scale, general scale, which is going to scale in all directions, 1D or 2D. If I select scale, once again you could type in a point if you want. You could also make it a copy if you want to make a copy. Um, but in this case I'll just select one point, and then you select a factor, so uh, one. Um, if you did two, that'd be um, two times as big. Uh, but you can then select the second point and then scale that way. Notice right now I have my snaps on which are all located down here so you can actually snap as you scale as long as your O snap setting is highlighted so I could if I had multiple objects for example I could scale and make sure that they're aligned in the same size. Um, other really useful tool in Rhino are the scale 1D and scale 2D so if I do scale 1D for example that'll allow you to scale in only one dimension so I can scale along this edge for example and just extend the object and then snap. If I had another object out here, for example, I could snap to that and scale in just that one dimension. In scale 2D, um, if you select a base point, you can see it'll scale in those two directions, so along that axis and along a, an axis perpendicular to that axis. So that's um, really helpful to scale very precisely into um, if you have two objects and want to scale one to match the other, you can use a combination of the scale 1D, scale 2D, and scale 3D.